Hello friend, truth is a virtue we all esteem. Whether we are religious or not, we respect people who say the truth and act truthfully. But what happens when we purpose to speak the truth in a world that is anti truth? Well, let's find out in today's episode of Loving Beyond. My name is Gideon Mumo. Welcome. Throughout history, the relationship of the church and the world shows that those who stand for the truth will be persecuted. Consider the story of Stephen, for example, the first Christian to die for their faith as recorded in Acts 6 and 7. After being anointed one of the first deacons in the church, Stephen began to do mighty works among the people. But as is always the case, when the gospel is going forth, the forces of darkness arise to hinder it. In Stephen's case, several men disputed his speech in which he essentially summarized the history of Israel up to their rejection of the Messiah. At the end of the speech, Stephen sealed his faith when he called them stiff-necked, uncircumcised in hearts and ears, always resisting the Holy Spirit and always persecuting and killing God's prophets like their disobedient fathers, the reason why they had murdered Jesus Christ. There was nothing untrue in Stephen's words. The Jewish leaders had turned Jesus over to the Romans for execution. Despite Jesus' miracles and authoritative teaching, the hardness of the Jewish leaders had kept them from seeing the truth about Jesus. Not even Stephen's rebuke would lead them to repentance. They instead executed Stephen by stoning him. Why? Stephen would not sway from what he believed to be divine truth, not even to save his own life. To him, it was better to incur the world's hatred by testifying against its wickedness than gain the world's approval by confirming her falsehood. And you know what? Today the world is bathing in the blood of innocent people. People who have chosen to hold on to the truth. Their persecutors are those of us who either can't stand the truth or won't speak the truth. Of course, we may not have confessed falsehood against a neighbor, but hampering truth is as lethal as testifying falsehood. Our neighbors have lost property. Others are in jail, while others have been killed because those who knew the truth didn't say it. It is unfortunate that truth has perished. It has vanished from our lips. But can we as Christians continue suppressing the truth? No, not even when our lives are in danger. Not as long as we look forward to eternal life with Jesus Christ. We read this in 1 Peter 3.10. For whoever who would love life and see good days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from deceitful speech. Like with Stephen, persecution may be for us for speaking the truth. But friend, no amount of persecution can compare to the joy of seeing the gates of heaven open before us to usher in the eternity of real good days with Christ. May God help us. Thanks for logging in. Bye-bye.